So for this project, you're going to need some stretch fabric. I'm using cotton jersey. It's really important that it stretches in at least one way. You need to cut a rectangle which measures 22 inches by 8 inches and you need to make sure that the fabric has the most stretch going along the length of the rectangle. Then we're going to place it right sides together along that long edge and we're going to pin and sew along that edge. You can use an overlocker if you've got one or a serger but you can also use a regular sewing machine just as long as you're using a little bit of a zigzag and not a straight stitch. So I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew with one centimetre seam allowance or three eighths of an inch along that long edge. So I'm going to set my machine to the lightning bolt stitch which is here. I'm going to lengthen it a little bit so that it's not so small. I'm using a walking foot because that is a lot nicer on stretch fabric. Highly recommend you use a walking foot if you're using stretch fabric. It's also great for all kinds of sewing so it's definitely a good one to have in your kit. And then I'm going to sew one centimetre from the edge or three eighths of an inch. So then we've got our tube all sewn up. We need to turn it through to the right side. And here comes the magical bit. So we've turned our tube the right side out and we've got our seams along the back in the middle. And then we're going to place the two ends right sides together. So the seam is facing up towards you. That's our wrong side. And we're going to place the top edge on top of the bottom edge but it's on the right side so you're matching up the edge of the top piece to the middle of the bottom piece then you're going to wrap that end that right side around the back so that it meets in the middle okay so you're sandwiching that bottom piece in between the top piece then you're going to take what was your bottom piece, the left side, and wrap it around the top. And then we're going to put a pin in. And then we're going to sew along that edge, just like we did before with a lightning bolt stitch, one centimetre or three eighths of an inch from that edge. So once that's sewn, all we have to do is turn it the right way out like so and it's ready to be worn i really hope you've loved this tutorial please head over to my channel for more tutorials similar to this one